I'm Kim Kreiner and I do uh, education and outreach for the Center for Sustainability here at JCCC. Students in the Sculpture 2 class in spring 2012 proposed their own version of a sustainability themed sculpture and the requirements were that it either used sustainable materials or reused materials or conveyed some kind of message about a sustainability issue that they wanted to impart to their peers. For uh, my project, I'm basically replicating a trash bag that's filled with water bottles and or recyclable materials. So it's really going to be just the impression of materials inside a trash bag, but it's going to be made of aluminum to bring awareness to um, the importance of recycling. We're using the recycled light poles from the campus that they replaced earlier this semester, and so we're recycling that aluminum in our sculptures. So this is just an example of how we're using um, materials around the campus and recycling them for this project. Being involved with it has brought a little more awareness to me as far as the importance of recycling and sustainability. It pushes me to think more about what I'm purchasing, throwing away, what I'm using at all times. Now I consider the before, during, and after of every object I try to pick up and use in my art. So with sculpture, um, it's pretty important to use materials that are recyclable that are not just going to go to waste or you know sit in a landfill for year after year after year. I think that's another part of what my sculpture brings brings to mind when you look at it is the whole permanence of materials and or the slow deterioration of materials and how it affects us. I'm Amy Enox and my sculpture was chosen and her title is Used Woman and she doesn't outwardly say sustainable in any way shape or form obviously it's person but I'm using used car parts and steel that has been used in previous projects to make her through the process I've realized that it's a bit of a self-portrait you know she's this used woman she's made out of cold hard steel and things you would kind of think masking like but I've I've poured aluminum boots for her, like women's sexy boots, so she's going to be this, you know, sitting on a bench in uh, the campus in the middle ground with the trees and all the people and just kind of chilling out there with people. I'm pretty excited about it. Hi, my name is Rachel Peterson and my project is about sustainability. There is a tremendous amount of litter that is left on this campus and we should really stop and pick up the litter and not put it on the ground. And because that was my idea, I found some refurbished letters that used to be on signage and I'm literally spelling out the word stop in the hopes that people will see it and go, wow, all of that came from here? That is crazy. Uh, <laughs> Several of my friends work on the campus cleaning up. Uh, one of them told me they had to buy a second vacuum cleaner to clean up uh, cigarette butts. And I thought that was crazy that we're a non-smoking campus, but like the litter is so bad we had to buy a really expensive vacuum cleaner for it. So I went with that and I found some, uh, a company named Shurl gave me free letters, which was really nice of them. And I am filling them with litter from the campus and it spells out the word stop, as in what I would like people to do, stop. My name is Christina Smith. Um, my sculpture is made out of 100% recycled aluminum that we use from past sculptures, the aluminum posts as well. We are cutting it up and we are putting them in the furnace and melting them down and we're using them for all of our sculptures. I'm using recycled limestone and also copper. It is a female form that like is slowly transforming into a tree and it's supposed to represent the marriage between like the human life and like the earth and how we don't appreciate it. I don't know, I call it mother because I think about our mother earth. I just hope people can look at it and maybe like get the connection that we are together. I just want like raise awareness about it, I guess. I'm happy I got the opportunity to do this. I, I really love this school though because there are so many opportunities to do things. Like our sculpture classroom is open almost all the time if you have a sculpture class to go in and work on your projects. 
so you're not just limited to your class time hours, which is really awesome. I toured around campus and seen all the other sculptures, and I think all of the students involved with this project did a really tremendous job with what they came up with, really great concepts. I think the best part of the whole project with every student is that we use recyclable materials from campus to finish these projects. Do you have an idea about how to make JCCC more sustainable? Email us at sustainability at jccc.edu.